The Ontario College of Family Physicians now says there are 2.5 million Ontarians without a family doctor, and medical professionals are concerned about this growing trend. This will continue to, to be a problem if we don't start to uh, implement solutions now. According to new data, more than 160,000 people were added to the list of those without a family doctor in a six-month period alone. We've also done research that's shown that it's not just about the number of people without a family doctor, but almost 7% of Ontarians or 670,000 patients are driving a really far distance to see their family doctor, so more than 51 kilometres. Local residents are feeling the struggle. How long have you been looking for a doctor now? Uh, three years. Three years, yeah. Um, and then when I call places, I usually get told that they have a wait list um, or they're not accepting new patients. Extremely hard. I called like 20 clinics and this was during COVID, so I don't know if that made a difference, but they were not accepting new patients at all. We used to go to the clinics, but it took us around a year to get a family doctor appointed to us. And it's not just family doctors people are struggling to find. Even with pediatricians, there's a wait list for my son to have a pediatrician, my daughter. We've been waiting. My daughter's 14 months now and she still doesn't have a pediatrician. Dr. Gupta says with fewer family physicians, people are more likely to turn towards walk-in clinics, urgent care and emergency departments, leading to fragmented care and increased strain on hospitals. One of the issues is that uh, there hasn't been enough investment for multidisciplinary teams so that uh, patients have access to multiple providers in primary care. So, In a statement, a spokesperson for the Ontario Minister of Health said, since 2018, our government has added over 12,500 new physicians to our workforce, including a 10% increase in the number of family doctors. While Ontario is leading the country with nearly 90% of Ontarians having a primary care provider, we are continuing to build on our progress by launching the largest medical school education system expansion in 15 years and making historic investments to expand interprofessional primary care teams and tackle administrative burnout. The college also says family physicians spend up to 19 hours a week on paperwork instead of seeing patients, which the college's CEO says is another concerning factor that needs to be addressed. In Toronto, Catalina Gillies, City News.